Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction horror film named Earth vs. The Spider. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens up with scenes from a comic book titled Arachnid. The comic book features a character who mutated into a spider, gaining spider ability and power. The scene then moves to a young man, Quentin, who is a huge comic fan. He is working as a security cop in a government biochemical facility. He wakes up from his bed and does his daily routine. He brushes his teeth and prepares his breakfast for himself and his cute dog. After that, he prepares to go to work. He leaves his unit and when he comes out of his apartment, he finds the beautiful lady next door named Babe, leaving to go to her school. He then walks through the stairs with her, since both of them are already leaving. They talk about the Midtown serial killer, who is terrorizing their neighborhood. Quentin is frustrated that the police forces are unable to catch the serial killer. He says he will relentlessly hunt down the serial killer if he works in the police department. Outside, the bullies are making fun of Babe. Quentin tries to defend her, but the bullies are also making fun of him. It turns out that his work does not assign him a gun, so the bullies mock him over his chicken muscles. Instead, Babe defends him against the bullies. This makes him frustrated since he cannot do anything against the bullies. He proceeds to walk to his favorite comic shop. There, he is amazed to find an arachnid action figure. His store owner friend says he can have the action figure and he can pay it in installments. The store owner also sells him the limited edition copy of the book. He browses the pages and is greatly amazed by arachnid's power. He expresses his desire to have power like that in the comic book. After that, he walks into his work and talks with his senior partner, who asks him if he asks Babe on a date. He says he was not able to do that because he lacks the confidence to approach her. He feels that she is out of his league. The senior partner then boosts his confidence, saying he's proud of him. They then inspect the labs and find the scientist injecting a red chemical into the experimental spider. The senior partner claims that the red chemical makes the spider stronger. Later, Quentin is reading a comic book, making the senior partner curious about it. He says that reading a comic book is like dreaming about different scenarios. He tells the senior partner about his fascination with the character, who uses supernatural power to stop the killer, making the character a hero. Quentin leaves the room, leaving the senior partner alone to check the security cameras. The senior partner sees robbers intruding on the premises of the biochemical facility. He immediately responds to the situation with his pepper spray. The robbers point a gun at him, leaving him no choice but to surrender. Quentin sees the situation when he comes back to the room. He runs to save his partner. But a police officer named Williams arrives and stops him with his partner cop. The partner cop recklessly rushes into the lab and opens fire at the robbers, prompting the robbers to shoot their guns. Officer Williams and Quentin cannot enter the lab as bullets are coming out everywhere. The senior partner tries to stop the robber, but ends up being fatally shot alongside the cop and the scientist. When Officer Williams and Quentin manage to enter the room, the robbers are already gone. Later, Officer Williams blames Quentin for the death of his partner. He then beats Quentin like an adult toy. The detective arrives at the scene and stops Officer Williams from bullying Quentin. The detective questions the intentions of the robbers in robbing the facility. He asks the facility manager about the activities in the facility that lures the robbers into robbing them. The facility manager says that they are doing weapons resistance research. During that time, the experimental spider manages to escape the lab and the passerby steps on it. The spider manages to regenerate and walk again as if nothing happened. Quentin feels guilty for the death of the senior partner. He is disappointed that he was not able to save him. He wants to gain power, so he injects himself with the red chemical in the lab. He feels nauseous and passes out soon. The next day, Babe hears the non-stop sound of alarm from Quentin's apartment. It turns out that Quentin is experiencing a severe fever, as the red chemical seems to be taking effect on him. He then sleeps in a bathtub full of ice cubes to relieve the pain. That night, Babe walks back to the apartment building and reads about the killings in Quentin's workplace. She still hears the alarm in Quentin's apartment when she walks into the building, making her extremely worried about him. She knocks on the door, but no one responds, prompting her to walk in by herself. There she finds the sick Quentin inside, so she gives him some care on his body, but not his hormones yet. She sees a needle wound in his arms. He explains that he accidentally injects himself with the chemical in the lab. He expresses his gratitude to her and says that he is tired of being a nice guy. She says some people like nice guys, 
so he says to himself that he will ask her on a date next time. After some time, Quentin wakes up already well and is too hungry for food, making him eat a lot. He comes to a bar, only to find Officer Williams flirting around with the detective's wife. The bartender notices the veins growing in Quentin's arm and thinks that it is a tattoo, so he thinks Quentin is a cool guy. Quentin asks about Officer Williams and the detective's wife. The bartender explains that the wife likes tough guys built with strong hormones, so she is openly cheating with Officer Williams. The bartender also reveals that the police officers are mocking the detective since the detective panicked when he encountered a criminal. The detective soon arrives and picks up his wife back home. Williams mocks the detective for not being able to catch the roaming serial killer in their town. That night, Bate walks into the apartment building. She feels that someone is following her. Out of nowhere, the serial killer grabs her from the back. She fights back and both of them drop to the floor. He grabbed her again, so she kicks him away like a goose. She punches him again, but he is stronger than her. He then soon overpowers her using his muscles, leaving her helpless as she passes out, ready to be harassed. Outside, Quentin is experiencing heightened senses. It seems that he gained spider sense and strength after injecting himself with the red chemical in the lab. He walks in and finds the serial killer attacking Babe. He comes to the rescue and immediately grabs the serial killer. He then throws the serial killer with his supernatural strength, sending him straight to meet Jesus. After that, he jumps out of the window to avoid being noticed. He feels the chemicals taking effect on his veins. Later on, the detective and the coroner arrive at the apartment. They find the serial killer's lifeless body. The detective asks Babe about the guy who saved her. But Babe explains that she was not able to see it since she fell unconscious. Quentin walks back in and asks about Babe's well-being. She describes the guy that saved her as a hero. Quentin feels ecstatic as he comes back to his unit. He feels that he is like the arachnid character now. The detective walks back home disappointed since a civilian caught the serial killer. He feels that he should have caught the serial killer since it is his job. It seems that his wife is traumatized after encountering a serial killer, which pushes her away from him. So he tries to comfort her using both his words and muscles to fix their relationship. Later, Quentin cannot fall asleep because of her heightened senses. He hears every noise from a distance. The next day, he reads the Arachnid comic book. He is trying to imitate Arachnid's life. He installs a camera at his door and also prepares a hammock for sleeping like Arachnid. He then sees Babe packing her things in a box outside. She says she will bring it to the basement storage, so he helps her out. Outside, the bullies are trying to bully them again and disrespecting Babe. So Quentin grabs the other bully's mouth using his supernatural strength. His strength scares away the shitty bullies. She is surprised to see Quentin acting up against the bullies. She feels that he has become another person and expresses her gratitude toward him. The comic books drop from her box. He realizes that she also loves reading comic books like him. Later, Quentin comes to the comic book store. The store owner says that spiders do not attack non-moving people. He comes home, and he's feeling bad again. He feels that he is slowly turning into a spider, like the arachnid character. He passes out, but soon wakes up hanging in a spider web from his stomach. He realizes that he has the ability to shoot spider webs. He tries it on his dog, and the web traps the poor dog in place. As he is removing the dog from his web, he feels extreme hunger, making him want to eat his yummy dog. He then runs away endlessly with his supernatural speed. Along the way, he finds a guy attacking a cashier lady in the convenience store. He then smashes the guy's body, as he thinks that it is his hero moment. The guy instantly dies, and the cashier lady weeps. She then reveals that the guy is her boyfriend. She says she is just having a hormone role play with her boyfriend. She tries to call the police, but he stops her. She runs away as fast as a Ferrari horse, but he shoots a spider web at her, making her trapped on the floor. His arms then slowly transform into spider arms. Afterward, Officer Williams arrives at the scene and helps the girl out. Just then, Quentin jumps on him like a spider pig and takes him to the apartment basement. The following day, Quentin puts his dog under Babe's care. She reads the note from him, saying he will not be able to take care of the dog for a while. She feels worried, so she knocks at his apartment. He cannot show himself to her, as his physical appearance is already changing. Meanwhile, the detective and the coroner arrive at the convenience store. The coroner finds the dead bodies of the cashier lady and her boyfriend. The man's body is completely dried out. It seems that Quentin fed on the man's body for energy. The detective also finds webs all over the place, and he picks up Officer Williams' tag. 
Back to the apartment, Quentin releases a loud spider scream as his mouth mutates into a spider mouth. Babe hears the annoying scream and knocks at his door. He asks her if she will go with him on a date if he asks her, and she says, yes, but he cannot ask her at that moment. He then tells her to go away, as he cannot face her with his ugly spider face. The next day, Quentin wakes up with his appearance going back to normal. He feels extremely hungry, prompting him to constantly search for food. He feels agitated while looking for food. Just then, the bullies come to the apartment, trying to get against him. He then grabs the bully to the basement, making the bully scream in a chicken voice. The other bully runs away, and Quentin grabs him back using spider webs. The two then become his next meal. The next day, the detective's wife is looking for Officer Williams as she hears the news that Williams is missing. She tells the detective that she needs Officer Williams instead of him. She feels the detective is hiding information from her. Later, the detective looks around outside, only to find a trace of webs in the apartment basement. He then collects some of the samples. He brings it to the biochemical facility for examination. But the facility manager cannot examine it since they are not a forensic facility. The detective asks him about their operations. He answers that they are experimenting with applying the spider's ability to human beings, but he refuses to reveal further information since the experiment is classified as government top secret. Meanwhile, Quentin is mutating into a spider again and feels worse right now. He feels that he needs to be stopped so he cannot victimize other people again. He comes to the store owner, asking him about Arachnid's weakness. The store owner reveals that the heart is Arachnid's weakness because the heart is still human and does not regenerate. The detective drives to the apartment while his wife is following him. He knocks at Quentin's apartment, but Quentin does not come out. He proceeds to the basement where he finds Officer Williams trapped in a web and barely breathing. He looks around the dark basement and finds more bodies covered in the web. As he climbs to save Officer Williams, his wife calls his name. He goes outside and Officer Williams shoots himself to death. Just then, Quentin, who appears like a mutant again, attacks the detective's wife. The detective arrives at the scene, prompting Quentin to climb away like a spider pig. The detective's wife slowly loses her life in front of the detective. Upstairs, Babe encounters Quentin. Right there, Quentin mutates fully into a spider in front of her, as spider arms emerge out of his body. His spider hunger forces him to abduct her. The detective soon finds her trapped in a big web. Quentin reveals himself and tells the detective to save her. He instructs the detective to shoot his heart, but Babe tells the detective not to kill him. The detective says he will not kill Quentin. In response, Quentin jumps on her, prompting the detective to repeatedly shoot at his heart. In his dying moment, he takes a last glance at Babe's face and eventually dies in her arms. In the end, Quentin becomes a legend as the store owner creates an action figure immortalizing him. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.